Let's get that disc out. Nice. Uh, when is the next one coming out? Um... Oh no. I am way late on this. Uh... Fastest way to the cinema. I am Jack of all trades, and this is going to be my very quick thoughts on Deadpool 2. Um, I typically would have done a full, big review for this. Um, well, I say big, but you know, something more like what I did for um, Infinity War, where I sit and talk about everything I liked throughout it and everything I didn't, and just all my thoughts. Um, but given how long it usually takes me to edit these together and render them on laptop. Um, it usually takes ages to render um, and you wouldn't be seeing this for like another week or something probably. Um, but yeah, long story short, <laughs> um, I'm doing just a quicker wee thing because um, it'll take less time to render. It's a shorter video. Um, I liked this film a lot, not as so much as the first, um, which seems to be the general consensus of most people. Um, I liked they sort of put, I thought they were going to do the Lady Death thing at one point, and they didn't, but they put a good spin on it. Um, spoiler alert, by the way, um, Vanessa's death, didn't see that coming, but then the sort of James Bond parody opening credits. That was quite good, because I was wondering, how are you going to top what they did last time? wouldn't say they topped it, but that's on par, quite like that. It's like, oh my gosh. Produced by, did you really just do that? Are we really killing her off? And that was good. Um, I was a bit confused by the mid credit scene of the time travel thing. It's like, okay, that's quite funny. But then, does this mean in like the third one, Vanessa's going to be alive? Eh. Um... Like, did the rest of X-Force all die, or did he change it, or was whatever his name was, the only guy who actually survived in X-Force. Um, I liked that that wasn't what the whole film was about, they were clever with the marketing of that, with that. Um, I guessed when it was like, oh, the biggest guy in there, and I'm like, oh, I wonder who that's going to be. X-Men, mutant, really big. Yeah, it could be the Juggernaut. And then you see like the metal gauntlet on it, on the arm that reaches out of the container after the crash of the truck. I'm like, yeah, it's the juggernaut. Gets out, it's the juggernaut. <laughs> um, sl slightly disappointed that they didn't do the line from the X Men Three. It's it's become a meme at this point. I mean, why they should have just gone with it and just went. Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch. had that in here. I was waiting for that and they didn't do it. I was waiting until the end credits in my head like, maybe they're gonna do it. They didn't. There is no end credit scene in this film by the way, so um, don't waste your time waiting around for that. Um, I did like how he had his own theme music. Like I heard that in the background during the action scene. The <laughs> Yeah, it was quite funny. Um, and then they played it during the credits as well, sort of further highlighting it. Which was good. I liked Wade having an actual, more of a character arc in this film. That was good. Um, as opposed to the previous one, it was just get the girl back. Um, whereas this one, it was sort of growing as a person. Um, yeah. I could talk about this for longer. Um, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out there while I could, and hopefully while Deadpool 2 is somewhat somewhat still relevant. Probably won't be by the time I'm uploading this. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this didn't waste your time too much. 
Um, I have been Jack All Trades. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with what I'm doing on my channel. And until next time, bye.